Uh, yeah, that was the thing I want to say. <laughs> Thank you. Um, the reason it's so each of these methods is so much more advantageous for uh, for space travel in particular, but also for life here on Earth is the reduction in the amount of space used. And the the really alarming statistic that I've come across uh, while researching this is that in order to feed the expected population of the world of 10 billion, uh, the ratio of meat that we eat at the moment, in order to keep that up for the growing population of the world, it means we're going to run out of arable land uh, because obviously the meat that we eat also eats uh, grain products. So we need to grow grain in it in surplus to what the human population needs in order to feed our meat. And um, we're literally not going to have enough land on planet Earth to feed humanity. Um, modern, mo modern farming techniques have reduced the amount of land needed massively. And I mean by modern, meaning the ones that we're using now and for the last few decades. But it's not enough. Um, so we need an alternative uh, or we need new methods. And as tasty and awesome as that burger was, I can't imagine people stopping eating meat altogether in favor of options like that, not least because of issues with, for example, in, um, in uh, fungus-based meats, you lack things like iron and zinc. Those have to be fortified into the, into the burgers or into the meat. Mm -hmm. um, so that adds complexity, potentially adding cost. So I think if, if we have ways to industrially create the meat that we need, which is nutritionally complete and doesn't involve animal murder, that's the holy grail. We really, mm. we, and also obviously reduce the amount of space needed. And uh, we're talking about like a, a meat production facility that uses 5% of the land area of a, a meat farm. And that's not, not even counting the land use for growing the grain that those animals then eat. Mm. Um, massive reductions in, uh, in, in carbon output, in water consumption, and of course, because it's smaller, you can locate that closer to the customer as well. So you can have meat factories on the suburbs of cities. The product getting to the supermarket is fresher. Yeah, uh, it, it, it employs people locally and uh, uses far less carbon. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. Um, those are some great stats there. And I'm going to address some of them as well in 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 my part um but hey thanks for watching this video if you want to see the full version go to the uncle gold podcast youtube channel or watch the next clip